I got these custom made leather boots from Cowboy Boots USA on Etsy for my Rick O'Connell cosplay for Dragon Con. And I need to take the boots and the holster rig from shiny and new to weathered and a bit more screen accurate. I'm going to do this with some sandpaper, acrylic paint, and some Fuller's Earth. Start out by removing the laces and beginning with 320 and 220 grit sandpaper, focusing primarily on the high edges and the seams of the boots. Now I'm going over this with some fairly light passes. I'm not putting a whole lot of pressure on it. I just want to take down pretty much the surface shine and take a little bit of the material off. Partial grit, the 220, I'm using mostly on the toe caps and on the sides of the boots where a lot of abrasion would take place. And since you see Rick O'Connell wearing these at the beginning of the film, it's clearly he's had them for some time. So we're gonna make them a little bit more careworn than the holsters. Now that I've knocked the shine down and given them a little bit of wear, I need to do some shadowing and I'm gonna do that with some acrylic paint. Now I'm using very, very heavily watered down burnt sienna and burnt umber applying it very liberally and then dabbing it off with a paper towel. Don't wipe it off, you'll leave streaks. Once that dries off, you go through and hit it with a little bit of 320 grit sandpaper and then to the Fuller's Earth. Fuller's Earth will give it a very dusty, dirty, well-used look and it's what we use in film to give things that aged appearance. And I just dust it over the entire thing and wipe the excess off with a clean paper towel. It stays behind in the seams and gives a nice convincing, well-used look. I do roughly the same process with the holster rig, just knocking it down a little bit with 320 and 220 grit sandpaper, and then applying the heavy wash of burnt, burnt sienna and burnt umber. Now I'm not going as heavy on the holsters because the, unlike shoes, you know, they're not gonna get as much wear as a pair of boots would. I got this holster rig custom made from Todd's Costumes. I'll put the link below in the description. Later on, I'll go back and age all the metal parts of this as well, but that's for another video. Now, when you do washes and stainings on something like this that's worn on the body, keep in mind where sweat stains might be. Think about how things would be worn when you apply weathering. And remember, don't over-weather stuff because you can go too far really fast. And in about 30 minutes, I've taken my bright, shiny, and new down to beautifully weathered and ready for cosplay. Thank you for watching. Props to history.